this is a force perimeter. I think they're designed to be a police bike. I picked this up on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. I'm gonna turn it into an e-bike. I'm gonna put a thousand watt, 48 volt hub motor on the rear wheel. And I'm gonna put a 48 volt, 10 amp hour battery in here with the controller. And what I'm gonna do, instead of putting it in a bag or putting it up here on this rack, I wanna be able to use this rack. So I'm gonna make a steel box that houses the battery, the controller, and all the wiring. Yeah. Here we go. Now that I have the battery and controller box all fabbed up, I'm going to go ahead and tear this thing down so I can paint it. Before the comments come in saying, why didn't you pull the crank or lower, whatever you guys call this, apart? I put the little puller on there and they would not come off. I've done it with a bunch of bikes and they come off. This one, they were stuck on there. Really good. And the bearing down there feels pretty good. I already taped over it and I'm gonna paint around it. No big deal. If it ain't screwed up, don't mess with it. So I taped over it. I can paint around it. I'm confident. And I used only about a third of a roll.
I got this little assortment of these rubber grommet hole plugs and the 5 8 drill hole size fits perfect for the charging port on the battery. This is the charging port for the battery right here and I'm going to bring it through this side of the bike. So there it is. There's the charging port. Conveniently located on the outside of the welded steel box. And got the rubber grommet. So the wires for the throttle, the display, and the motor are all gonna come through this hole here so i'm not going to get super in depth with the wiring on these typically all the kits come with instructions with a nice layout of what wire is what and where it goes and typically the plugs won't let you plug them in somewhere where they're not supposed to go also keep in mind these are lithium ion batteries i'm sure you've seen where e-bikes have caught fire and all that stuff i try and follow all the manufacturers recommendations as far as charging storage and all the other safety measures. I'm gonna put some foam or some rubber in there to keep the stuff from bouncing around. Just so it's uh, you know, more shock proof and wires don't move around and end up fraying up against anything. So I'm going to use this GPS speedometer app. It'll tell me my average speed, my distance, and my max speed for this trip. So we'll look at that when I'm done. So the chain that was on this bike before was pretty rusty and I ordered a new one. And for this test drive, I didn't have the chain on it. So there was no pedaling during this test drive. This is all the motor. So I just did 1.77 miles there. Average speed was 12 miles per hour. My top speed was 30. 